Hello, Briggsy here, and today we're doing another Garage Sale Finds for today, the um, 29th of August 2015, and the last video got a bunch of comments, thanks to all the people who supported from the last video, and especially thanks to um, the kind comments mentioned by Jared. Now today we're going to, I got less stuff today um, from the Garage Sale, but to make up for that, I'm also going to show you my Finds for August video in a few days. And also, my birthday's coming up, so I'll be able to make some um, birthday, um, my birthday gives. I'll be able to show them off in videos as well. So, this is what I got today from the garage sale with my dad and I. So, this is all we got. Um, I'm going to show these in random order. So, first we got Billy Haley and the Comet's Greatest Hits on audio cassette by MCA Records. Now, this is a really weird one because when, I look, when you look at the back, it says Program 1, Program 2. And it's got a we it's like, that's what they call for an 8-track. Wouldn't it be more side 1, side 2? Wouldn't that make more sense? There's the inside of it. I've already pre-wound -re -wound it, but uh, the, the songs are Skinny Mini, Saints, Rock and Roll, jo Joey's Song, 13, wim 13 Women, and Only One Man in Town, CLA Alligator, um, We're Going uh, go we're gonna Rock Around the Clock Tonight, classic song. Sway, Sway With Me, um, Choo Choo Kaboo, Razzle Dazzle, Shake, Rattle and Roll, and uh, Burn burn the Candle. So that's the first thing I got. Also, I got, I always get blank media, so and these are the items of blank media I got. I got two, two TAC HX uh, ASK free hour videotapes with a lifetime warranty. Yep, that means jack shit now. But, um, yeah, I, this is a sort of type of material I was using to record things like the pa the night that episode of Play School from 1996 on my YouTube channel or the, um, or the Pick Your Face episodes. This is the sort of blank media I was using when I was a little kid to tape stuff on. This is another one as well, Hannah Max High Grade Free Hour Tapes. I always use these types of tapes for dubs as well, so I, I kind of make dubs of stuff that people don't want to really give away to me, but I use blank media like this. I like the Flame logo, that was a really cool time period for videotapes. But as you can see, um, that has the green label. Acme used the same generic label as well as Hannah Max. So that, that's what I've shown off so far. This is some other stuff I also got. A box Sony Walkman. Yes, I got this for three dollars at, uh, at a garage sale. It's, it's probably the most advanced Walkman I've ever gotten. Uh, now the items in there, it comes with the microphone, the charger, and the, the, the sp and the headphones. So this is the item itself. It looks pretty stale, pretty old. Um, the ability I like about this is just not only got radio, but the ability to record with your microphone and the record button. Not many Walkmans came with record buttons. That's why Sony was a little bit ahead of the pack compared to Sanyo and Panasonic and whatever other company put out these types of devices. So that's that's it there. That looks pretty cool. I like it. I don't know when this was made though. Someone in the comments tell me when this was made because I'd love to find out. And so this thing also has a remote control. So that is pretty cool. Um, and I got three DVDs. This is the final stuff I got. First we have Flying High to the sequel. Now, I remember seeing this when I was younger, renting it from the video store. I liked the first Flying High, but this wasn't as good. It just repeated the exact same formula as the first film. Not as good, but uh, I wanted to check it out. I hadn't seen it for a while. Plus, I got the plus my brother's got the first Flying High movie on DVD. There's the disc. Um, and I always remember, I recently saw Anne Wills a few months ago doing a show and she mentioned that um, she was doing an episode of Movie Scene and she was interviewing William Shatner, one of the people from the movie. Guess what? William Shatner was like doing an interview, couldn't stop talking about his TV show that was on a rival network and Emeralds was trying to get her to talk about Flying High 2. I can't blame her. Flying High 2 sucks. So yeah, of course he's not going to talk about a movie that he wasn't even proud for. At least he got his paycheck. At least he, and, and he was in a movie that contains a rocket instead of a plane. Rocket man, burning like the sea upon the stars. Anyway, so this is also a very early release of Muriel's Wedding. Uh, I have heard it's been re-released on Blu-ray, thanks to Jared. Uh, but um, this is the DVD version from the 2000s. Oh, sorry. 
I'm trying to get this open. The disc is in pretty good condition. Uh, there's the disc. Actually, they had two, when I was at this garage sale, they had two copies of Muriel's Wedding. I'm like, yeah, I only want one copy. So, these were all $2, by the way. Um, and something weird about this, it's got a little tiny chip taken out of the side. I really don't know why that is. Um, and the final thing I'm going to show you, this was quite a surprise to get. This is Brum, uh, Kit and Rescue, and other stories. Now, I know Aussie VHS and DVDs has this on DVD, and this is, I'm just dying to get into collecting the Brum DVDs, because I started off, you know, with the VHS tapes, and now I've conquered that. I thought, why not connect, uh, conquer the 2000 series? I don't think the 2000 series was that great, like most people say, but I personally, I enjoy, I enjoy, I think it was alright, but it wasn't the best thing that Brum, the later seasons of Brum weren't as good. But we have here on the episodes Golf and the Golf Buggy, Brum and the Golf Buggy, Brum and the Kidnapped Garden Gnome, Brum and the Stolen Necklace, Brum and the run Runaway Rick Rickshaw, um, Runaway Rickshaw, and Brum and the Kitten Rescue. So there's the disc published in 2004. There were some other kids DVDs there too, but they were all scratched. Because, uh, as you know, we'd... Old kids DVDs from the two thousand early two thousands because this one was published in two thousand and four. Yeah, the, a lot of them are really scratched, so that's what makes them kind of a challenge to find if they're rare or not. Because p this one is not not as scratched, so it still plays well. And there's the other titles. They also had Brum and the Snow Thieves, but that was scratched to complete hell and back again. And there's the disc. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to get more of these, but. Yeah, what can you do? I already have, I'm going to show you this in a future video, I also got Brum of the Stopwatch Botch as well just recently from a Salvos. I'll show that in a previous, in a few more days in other videos. So that's all I got for you today and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, I want to let you know that the next few videos that I'm going to be producing uh, are going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be doing more uh, VHS, like more finds for August. I'm going to be also producing a video showing off what I got uh, for my birthday and also with all the money I got I'm going to be able to buy, show you off my birthday buys which will be quite interesting. So uh, yeah I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, hooroo I'm Ernest Briggsy and I speak the truth about Australian television. Bye.